Welcome to the second in a series of instructional videos explaining how to successfully install and commission the SolarEdge TerraMax Inverter. In this video, we'll guide you through safe wiring of the SolarEdge TerraMax Inverter. Let's start by preparing the wiring tools. Torque wrench, deep 18mm socket, lug terminal crimping tool, torque screwdriver with 4mm Allen bit, flat screwdriver, cable cutter and cable stripper. Let's identify the inverter interfaces located at the bottom of the inverter. AC1 and AC2 connections, DC connections, DC disconnect switch, cooling fans, P10 switch, communication cable glands, indication LEDs and communication compartments. Before wiring, disconnect the inverter from the grid by turning off the three-pole AC circuit breaker. If according to your local regulation chassis grounding is needed, use an M5 screw to connect a chassis ground wire to the mounting bracket. Ensure that a serrated washer is placed between the lug and the bracket. Turn off the P10 switch of the inverter and the DC disconnect switch at the bottom of the inverter. Now, let's open the inverter's cover. Release the 14 Allen screws holding the cover and open the screws. Once all screws are released, carefully remove the cover. It's recommended to have two installers available for this step. First step, let's learn how to connect the PV arrays, starting with the DC cables. For detailed information regarding cables and lugs requirements, please refer to the TerraMax installation guide. While capable of accommodating either a single 300mm cable or dual cables, in this video we'll be showcasing the inverter's dual cable capacity. Remove the white plastic covers of the DC terminal block. Pass the cables through the gland. Make sure its length is sufficient and crimp the wire. Crimp the wires according to the lag size. Then connect it to the DC terminal block according to the labels on the terminals. Add washers and tighten the nuts. Tighten the nut of the DC gland to 5 newton meters. Place the white plastic cover on the DC terminal block and push until you hear a lock click. Next step, let's move to install the AC cables. Remove the nuts from the protective earth glands and insert the grounding cables. Prepare and crimp the grounding wires according to Solar Edge instructions. Lead the cables to PE terminals and secure the nuts. Remove the protective cover from the AC terminal block. Connect the AC wires L1, L2, L3 to the lower sections of the terminal block. Tighten the nut to 35 newton meters. Then, connect the AC wires to the upper section of the terminal block and tighten them as well. Place the protective cover on the AC terminal block and push until you hear a lock click. To enable power production, move the switch from shipment to operation mode and screw it in place. Close the inverter's cover according to SolarEdge instructions. Now, let's connect the inverter to the monitoring platform. Remove the communication compartment cover. When installing multiple inverters using a CAN bus leader follower topology, open communication gland one, pass the CAN bus cable through the gland and connect the CAN bus wires according to the GHL terminals of the communication connector. Move the CAN dip switch of the first and last inverters to on for bus termination. Make sure that for every other inverter on the line, the CAN dip switch is set to off. Plug the CAN bus connector into the terminal block. Open communication gland 2 and pass the Ethernet cable connector and cable through the gland.
plug the Ethernet cable into the LAN port and connect the plug on the opposite side of the Ethernet cable to the system owner's router. Place the compartment cover and tighten the four Allen screws to 3.9 Newton meters. Insert the rubber seal into the communication glands and tighten the nuts to 5.5 Newton meters. That's it. The inverter is now successfully wired. To complete the installation, watch the SolarEdge TerraMax inverter commissioning video.